Scenario number one. An employee comes to you and asks for your advice. You are a supervisor, but you do not supervise this employee. She tells you that her supervisor has been commenting on her appearance and clothing. The comments are never crude and could even be considered compliments. Yeah, so it happens quite a bit. I'm not sure what to make of it. For instance, last week. Hey, John, how are you today? I'm doing well, Jackie. Thanks for asking. By the way, I really like the outfit you're wearing today. You look really good. Hey, Jackie, how do you do it every single day? You look really nice. Did you do something new with your hair? Um, no, but thanks. A few times he has put his hand on her shoulder while they were working at her desk. What are you up to today, Jackie? Haven't seen you around the water cooler. He's never asked her out or said anything sexual, yet his actions make her uncomfortable. What would you do, if anything? Even though you are not this employee's supervisor, you are a supervisor and therefore you have an obligation of reporting this incident either through the chain of command or to your human resources representative. It is important to report this incident so there can be a thorough investigation to ensure that there has not been a violation of the State of Wyoming Anti-Discrimination Executive Order 2000-4. The executive order clearly states that unwelcome physical touching and unwelcome comments about appearance is considered prohibited conduct. Comments such as these could be considered harassment and your HR representative will be able to compile the facts and determine the severity and frequency of these comments. There is a possibility it could be considered in violation. And as the executive order says, quote, all complaints of discrimination or harassment prohibited by this policy shall be investigated by management as soon as possible after the conduct is reported or suspected, 